Dorothy, Music Clues, and guess who's finally back? Hey guys, it's Lula! Uh, we're back with Anetta of Fever's Tavern. Uh, uh, like I said, it's great to have Laura back finally after a two-week vacation. How was it? Oh, uh, it was a lot. Uh, first it was okay. Then, um, Wi-Fi issues. Then, um, one of our possible partners... Got in a friend of me fight with us. Just, it was crazy. <laughs> uh, I get. Uh, it sounds like you had a pretty, pretty uh, relaxed slash non relaxed vacation. But uh, good to uh, good to see, finally have you back. But yeah, today we're gonna do another Fever's Tavern, and I'm gonna tell you right now from what I've heard from Lola, this one's nothing big. At all. <laughs> I previewed it, guys. It's nothing but huge Q and A, mostly. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, well, not in for anything big, but uh, uh, yeah. Um, so uh, let's get rolling with this, shall we? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Joe Neat, Sea of Thieves executive producer, with another weekly dev update. So, first off, I wanted to just start with addressing some of the feedback and questions around the monthly update, uh, around what we brought in as part of the black powder stashes, and kind of what is temporary, like what's time limited, and also what is kind of permanent and there to stay. So I thought I'd start with just a bit of a kind of overview and a reminder um, of what the monthly updates are for and the voyages we're trying to bring in. So every month we want to refresh the world of adventure with like new voyages, new things to, to kind of go and earn, and really try and create kind of interesting social dynamics between players and, and really kind of have this ebb and flow of, of behaviours and, you know, things to go and do and, and driving people kind of to do different things and to interact in different ways. And so it really makes sense for us like on a monthly basis as we're updating the game and we're bringing these new things in that something, some of those voyages and, and kind of things and rewards like we want to take out because we want to drive different behaviours kind of on a monthly basis. So that's why some things will come in and be time limited for that month because we're trying to kind of drive interesting behaviour and get players behaving in different ways. But then we want to kind of take that out and bring something new in. So that's going to be very much our rhythm around these voyages that we're bringing in as part of these monthly updates. So with the black powder stuff. Okay, so from what I've heard here, here, so um, they're going to be taking in certain things and taking out certain things like voyages. Some voyages will stay, some will leave. Makes a lot of sense to me. Right. Now, now here's where uh, the concern comes in. And yes, um, for those of you that are made confused about the event, this might be big for you if you have uh, questions. Uh, but for those of us like, yeah, like, uh, Me's close and I here where we know the game down to science, you know, with the mechanics and everything. Uh, we pick this up pretty quickly, so to us, it's nothing too big. But, of course, to some of you, um, hence why we do these things no matter what, with the Sea of Savern, uh, y you know, you might have questions. Yeah. Alright, let's continue that we brought in for the month of July. You know, the, the voyages that you um, that, that came in as part of this and the commendations that kind of accompany that, uh, along with the rewards, those are time limited. So we will be kind of removing them uh, with the August update, but then Dark Relics will come in, which will be a new set of voyages with a new set of rewards and commendations to kind of to go and achieve during that month. And again, we're just trying to drive that different player behavior on a monthly basis, which is why we're kind of getting into this with them. So just to clarify, the, the kind of voyage-related commendations that come with this, the commendations uh, related to collecting the mermaid gems and uh, cashing in kegs with different companies are also time limited, uh, as obviously the rewards uh, so the sails and the figurehead and the, the flag that you can get during this time. Um, alongside that, a couple of the kind of game plane changes that we made as part of the black powder stashes are kind of time limited. So being able to hand in the stronghold uh, and the gunpowder kegs to kind of the different trading companies is a time limited part of black powder stashes. Um, but the 
being able to kind of find mermaid gems in more varied places and also, you know, being able to kill megalodons or kind of krakens and have a chance of finding them will remain, but it will be kind of dialed down beyond uh, this month. So there's still that new way to kind of collect mermaid gems, but it won't be as prevalent as it has been during the Black Powder Stashes month. Broadly, like really good feedback, really good kind of questions around this. And we definitely haven't done the best job of messaging uh, exactly what would be time limited and why and, and, and what isn't and so we've taken that feedback on board we're folding it into our future plans for you know both in game and out of game we're trying to be a lot clearer about what are the things that are coming in that are part of this month and what are kind of permanent changes and, and additions to the game so really want to yeah, make it clearer in game itself uh, but also in our messaging uh, externally okay so basically what he's trying to say is hey, it's for those who still don't get the message Anything related to the Black X sessions, whether it be the accommodations, uh, and uh, the cosmetics, all that, like previous events, if you're an old veteran of Sea of Thieves, Thieves, those are all time limited, so get it um, in. Also, turning into stuff into the training companies, like all the Black Powder Cakes, also time limited, it, which kind of sucks. But... Yes. Now, see, this is where got, people got confused. Uh, someone, um, uh, in one channel said it was temporary, someone else said it was permanent with the turning in of the cakes. So, those of you out there, uh, that believe the people saying, hey, this is permanent, uh, they got it wrong, do not believe that, uh, it is a temporary thing, okay? So, uh, if you, say you're at home, ring a book or something, but you want to get in there, uh, if you're crazy for training your case, do it now. Otherwise, um, you're going to, they're going to be gone, uh, once this update, uh, you know, event is fierce. Yeah, so, I would get them in now. But, like, finding the gems and all that, that is going to stay inside Sea of Thieves. Thieves, it just, it just, well, like he said, won't be as easy to find, find the gems. The locations will stay, you just won't be able to find them as easy. So if you're trying to find find the mermaid gems in the places now, I would do it now. Because <laughs> they aren't easy to find. Yes, however, the mermaid gem thing, it is staying. It's, again, the cake thing is the only thing in the entire update that I would note being a temporary. So we, we're going to state heavily to you Turn them in now, if you have them. Yeah. If, if you, oh, or you're going to have them. Yeah. If you're going to do that, I would do it now. I don't know. We don't know when Black Relics is going to be happening, but more than likely it's going to be in the next two weeks. So if you're just slacking on it, what are you doing sitting around? Down. Get on it, man. Man, and like I said, if you're looking for those mermaid gems too, why it is a permanent change, it won't be as easy to find them. Kind of like a lot of things in Sea of Thieves. So, if you're trying to find them now, I would do it now. Now, because you're not going to find it later. Later. Trust me. But, yeah. All right. Let's continue. Another question we saw last week after talking around kind of our plans for digital business was just people wanting some clarification around the premium ship cosmetics uh, side of things that I talked about. So just for clarity, you know, the premium ship cosmetics that we're bringing in are very much around kind of much-loved IPs. Like we've talked about, we've seen Banjo stuff in uh, the past. We've seen Perfect Dark things that we brought into the game. We definitely want to um, kind of explore this avenue further and bring cool things in that players can kind of optionally purchase. But that doesn't mean we're going to stop bringing in kind of ship cosmetics just as part of the game itself and as part of things that people can go and earn as part of their normal play. Like, that kind of stuff continues as it is. That's kind of unaffected. You know, we very much really love the... Um, the fact that the, the cosmetics that you earn as part of your progression, as part of your stories, um, you can still kind of go out in the world and, and earn those and display them so that it kind of shows your history and the things you've been up to in Sea of Thieves. But then we'll have this very unique set of um, cosmetics that really play into get kind of these cool uh, heritage kind of IPs that will be part of the premium um, ship stuff. So very different, very distinct. Um, but yeah, just wanted to clarify that question. So another thing that happened last week was Twitch Rivals itself. And super cool to kind of see this play out um, on Tuesday and Wednesday of last week. And that's okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, two things. Clarification on those premium, 
premium uh, shipped cosmetics, so it's going to be separate from what you guys have seen in-game, like what Leia has been in so far. These are going to be stuff you can purchase with real money. It's going to be based off of, like, real-life IPs, piece, which I honestly saw coming from a mile away, where, of course, those would be paid. Paid. It's kind of a bummer. It kind of sucks, but Microsoft's got to make a little bit of money from this somehow. Uh, right, and if you recall from last week, MC, and I'm sure those of you guys that joined us last week also, they also talked about these paid, paid emotions. Um, sorry if I'm not, if I'm in and out and listening, just multitasking here, but, but yeah, uh, these paid emotes, um, I'm kind of concerned because that goes a little far. Even though they claim it's not a player enhancement, it kind of is. Because uh, if you look at some of our emotes that you, you, we use now, uh, Ms. Clues, um, think about the current wheel moment. Uh, we have dancing. We have sleeping to hide on ships. We have um, sitting. We have, um, you know, the, the current circle as is. Uh, so... If you think about it, and the curse cannonballs, and how people use such emotes to, as I said, hot on shits and stuff, then uh, where's the line on player enhancement? Uh, you kind of are crossing that line. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah, that is a bit of a blur. But I'm not exactly sure what these emotes are anyways. Wait, so... More than likely, we're going to see an inside side of build on this soon, soon. so we'll know exact, exactly. By the way, advertisement again. If you want to join insiders, go right ahead, but I don't know how many times I have to say Right, that. Uh, right. And obviously, since we're both insiders, yes, we're going to have knowledge, but since we're under NDA, uh, we will uh, talk about it a little bit as long as the NDA allows, but that's all. Uh, when they do come up, yes, we'll talk about it, but... Um, of course, MC and I are going to, like Rare does, arrange it in a way that um, it doesn't break any NDA or game laws or anything like that, so we don't get into any issues. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, said if, I were, if I were you, I would join it, but like I said, you need either a physical or digital copy of Sea of Thieves, or you need to have Xbox Game Pass, which includes Sea of Thieves. So uh, if you have any of that, then you can come on it and enjoy on the inside of build as well as the public build of Sea of Thieves. Uh, but yeah, uh, we should be getting an inside of build on that soon. They also mentioned that pets are going to be returning uh, very soon. Too. Oh, they're in there now. Um, I'm sorry, but uh, they're in there now. I actually heard that the pets are in there now. Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, as of this, as of right now, guys, uh, pets are available now for all insiders to take a look at. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what those are all about, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're not guys, I'm not, I had a look at them a few days ago. Of course, I'm not going to break NDA, but, um... As far as I've seen so far, uh, they're not too different from uh, where we had them last time. So don't get too excited, means clues when you jump in there, because they're not too different from when we both saw them. Oh. Um, except maybe a uh, few tweaks. Uh, it's not too different. Okay. Well, th thank you for letting me know. Uh, regardless, though, guys, guys, those are also going to be pit, pit, uh, pit. Eight stuff, so um, I would not say that pets is fine and premium cosmetics are fine, but I draw the line at emotes. Emotes, depending on what they are. So, yeah, watch it, Lair. As for the whole Twitch Rivals thing, this is something that happened last week for those who tuned in. Uh, they were having some arena show, they were playing arena, uh, uh, arena on there. Uh, if you tuned in for 30 minutes at least, you could get some premium ship cosmet cosmetics. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah. And it seems like Lair is going to be doing this quite often with Twitch, so I would link your Twitch account. Uh, account. Right, and see, and see, this is what I was talking about. Um, Arena being an eSport. It's finally happening. See, it's finally happening. It's happening. I okay, 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 okay. I told you it was going to take a little time. Sheesh. But, yeah. Yeah, uh, you are right. It is becoming an eSport. How big 
big it will get, though, we'll have to wait and see. Twitch is the right, first. right. But obviously, uh, if Rare was able to partner with Twitch, uh, we could see a uh, little mini leaks going on, kind of like uh, Dread Pirate Doug's uh, Race of Legends, where you know they could come out with some, um, you know, some kind of little leak. Which, by the way, I did. Uh, Read uh, see the news. Uh, if you're watching, I did read the article yesterday. Uh, before go Sally, um, even though he wasn't there for the Q and A on the forum yesterday, it was very good to have you uh, go over that. So, uh, speaking of Dre Power Doug, uh, what happened yesterday when I went through the Q and A on that was uh, that it was a thought, a thought that uh, they would expand on the competitive ideas, such as Arena, where they would add something like Dread Pirate Doug's Race Legends or something in that manner. Uh, so we're going to keep an eye out for that. But um, as far as our stuff goes, uh, they did confirm um, that there is some meme going around about Duke being the quote-unquote Dark Lord of CDs now. Uh, I'm sure those of you who saw it, you get what, what I mean. Uh, and, uh, someone who answered that, uh, said they, that people shouldn't go that far. However, he is planning something. Something is being planned. Yeah, as far as the Dark Lord thing, well, see, see I don't think it's going to be that <laughs> big, but from what I've seen inside the public build, yeah, he's planning something. I don't know what it is, but he's planning something. Something to do with the big, uh, something to do with the pilot, uh, the current companies, companies that we have, which is um, Old Old Souls, uh, Gold Holders, and uh, Merchants. So something to do with those three. That's all I know. Right, and also um, to confirm, uh, MC, um, I'm sure we can both recall um, and I'm sure everyone else can recall those of us who watch Falcor um, like he's the king of sea thieves and always gets things right one day he came out with a prediction of a new faction called the Grand Maritime Union and apparently uh, you combine that with the theory of Duke's planning then then, uh, you, you know, you combine that with what's going on now, uh, something is definitely coming, and Falco could, could be right, uh, we could be seeing this group come, coming in here pretty soon. Yep. Of course, we won't know, know yet until it's in, inside the inside of the build, and on top of that, out here in public. But for the time being, being you are like, Lord, Lord. so I mean, it's definitely being planned. And if Falco right, because because um, I'm sure you can refer to oh, I don't know, a month ago or something. Uh, one of the devs did tweet a very interesting tweet out there. Um, and this I do carbon copy off of what Falcor said. Uh, so Falcor, um, credit to you for again uh, blurring this out. Uh, if it infringes on you and for our apologies, but I, uh, you know, <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, someone did say, oh, I can't remember which tip it was, but he said uh, that if the East India Train Company, and yes, I put that in quotes, uh, found out what the senior traders said we see are doing. A.K. the NPCs for the merchants, uh, you know, the merchant train company. If they saw them, they would be pissed off in a way. So, again, another confirmation that something that big might be coming in here. But, um, again, uh, we don't know. But, hey, also on the bright side, Falcor, he said it. So, it, it, there right has out. to be some kind of connection. It just happened. Yeah. Uh, and, and he might have, and again, because the bigger Sea of Thieves players, they could have access to different feed, more bigger features than uh, even the public uh, public can access, so we don't know. But I do know this. 
it, uh, something is big. Something big is going to be happening, guys. Guys, so I would keep tuned to uh, the Facebook, the Twitter, obviously here on YouTube, um, and and obviously to us because uh, I know we don't get any every single core yet, but we're working on. It. Trust me, someday we're going to be like Falcor, where we're we're going to be the ones pointing out stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, yeah. So uh, man, we got a lot of topic there. Uh, okay, anyways. Back, back to the update. So, yeah. Uh, Twitch Rivals was just a little thing. Hopefully, we'll see it expand on. So, let's see what's the rest of this uh, 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 the dev update. And then we'll uh, finish off with a little bit of a talk. Off Part there. of our continued growth and expansion uh, of the arena. And also, of just kind of testing things out. It was really cool to take what we'd learn at E3 and at GuardianCon. Uh, and apply it to, to this, our kind of third competitive event. And... It was it was just so cool to see the you know people that we recognise from our community going up against each other and seeing the different tactics and play styles and the real kind of high level of skill uh, that that was on display, and it was re a really great test you know for the arena to see kind of how watchable it can be over an extended period and really great to get really good competitive crews up against each other because you know we always believe that uh, the arena is really strong when you've got obviously a full set of crews in there and kind of equally matched crews and that the, the it's a really kind of competitive kind of environment for everybody uh, involved. And it's fair to say that, you know, in the, the, the kind of game itself out there right now in Arena, that it's very much at the, the start of that journey. And when that does play out, when you have a full set of crews and it's really competitive, it's awesome. But uh, when you don't have a full set of crews or it's a bit mismatched, then it cannot be quite as a uh, good an experience. And so to be able to kind of see it and to see it in its kind of best light and was really positive and we got great feedback from everyone that played, everyone that watched. And so like we've talked about before, for, we're very much like looking at all of the things we can do to make the arena play like that just on a regular basis so whenever you're playing it live that you know we'll make sure that um, it's always got kind of a full amount of crews it's got four players that people are matched equally so there's a lot of work kind of going on around this now like a lot of our focus on the arena is really just you know how we get it to play like that on a you know on a regular basis as regular as possible so <clears throat> lots of focus on that but really great to kind of almost have that proof point and all be able to watch it uh, and see so yeah really really great a uh, couple of days, learned a lot from it both around watchability but also kind of continued learning around the game experience itself. Uh, so lots of that fed back into our planning kind of as, we, as we move forward both in terms of future competitive events like this but also just the core experience out there so that we can get it playing as regularly as reliably and, and kind of just as great as it, as, as it showed up uh, as part of Twitch Rivals. Congratulations to well, every team that, that took part and, and thanks so much for kind of for taking part in our first Twitch Rivals event. It was amazing but you know, especially Special congratulations to the teams that won their respective groups. So obviously Team Shumba that, that won twice, uh, Pace's team uh, and Lockley's team who really again showed a high level of skill and um, and also some of the teams that didn't quite win but came second or third. Like There was some real um, great, great teams out there and it was really great to see just this high level of competition going up against each other. It was um, just a really exciting thing. You know, I watched both days fully. It was it was uh, like really awesome to see. So yeah, you know, thanks so much for, for Twitch for, for partnering with us too. It was a really great experience partnering with them and definitely as we look to the future um, uh, of Arena, you know, I, I doubt this will be the last event like that that we held. So that's it from me this week. Next week I'll be back and talking a little bit more about what we can expect from Dark Relics uh, along with some other stuff. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, I'll uh, see you on the seas. Cheers. <laughs> Alright, so that was that was again, uh, this one is kind of mixed for us and we're saying that uh, you know all your view also when we say mix because it depends on who has questions and who doesn't which obviously we went over so uh big points here again uh something is coming to duke but through duke but we don't know what uh, besides these dark relics which again uh, might be something on the table for us to watch uh something else to watch to uh, note again, uh, the Mermaid Gems being scattered around the world, that's going to be permanent, okay? So again, uh, that's permanent. Who 
to those of you who have that question, and to those that have the question of the, the case being temporary or permanent, that is temporary. So, um, if you're part of legend like I am, and, uh, like me, clues here, if he can manage to put enough time in, like we are, are going to do later tonight, um, yes, do go to Ford's, get the med case, and turn those in as quickly as you can, um, go on a Fort spree. It's all we're saying to you, Power Legends out there. Spray it. Yeah, yeah, basically, basically. And a quick note about the gems. Once again, they are going to be permanent, like uh, Laura said. However, however, if you want to find them like super easy right now, I would do it now because once once Black Power ends, they're going to be like pretty much any other treasure and sea of thieves hard to find. And <laughs> Trust me when I say they're not, uh, trust me when I say it's not going to be easy finding them and not getting attacked by a skeleton, at least one. Uh, so, yeah, do it while you have the chan chance, because the gems, gems, you may not notice, but they're worth a very good much of a fortune if you find a lot of them. Mm. Okay, so uh, let's move on to uh, the Save the Community now. So... Uh, we do not know the wares yet. I have to look them up, but... Alright, anyway, so what was that about to say to the community? So, uh, first thing to note is that, uh, for our friends and, you know, everyone that we consider a celebrity... Uh, today is August 1st, correct? So, uh, tomorrow, for those of you that know him, Pace, uh, Mr. Nafi Deadline Pacewell is having his own day by you, the community, dedicate to him tomorrow. That is amply named Nafi Pacewell Day. And basically, what's going to happen, uh, if you ask if uh, yourself, he'll give you a link to his Discord. Um, I don't know if we can give a link in our description. Uh, we'll see if we can remember. If we can, great. But uh, pretty much what's going to be happening tomorrow is that everybody, uh, and possibly including us, we're going to be trying to do uh, loot sacks all day. So those of you who need to get to Power Legends status, now is a great time to hop in the boat and... Either join Nate's Discord or our Discord if you want to hop in that boat and get yourself some free loot, okay? You heard Lola. Free loot. You, and I know, no, and I know, no, if I were you, I'm not big on Pilot Legends cast, but uh, if I were you, I would get in and get, get some of that loot, 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 man, because you don't get it just a church, it's just, just handed to you every single day. Yes. Yes. Um, and a brief history of Mr. Pacefell. Um, Pacefell, uh, like a whole bunch of you other celebrities out there, if you're watching, uh, he has done a lot for the committee. He's been one of the major, 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 major things. Uh, especially during the, the big player boom and the big race to Power Legend, uh, you know, that going up, you know, before the March 20th, for those of you that remember that. So, <clears throat> Nate, if you're watching, uh, from all the community and from us, uh, it's very appreciated that you're doing all this kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, if I may say something, uh, I don't know, I don't follow too many CV these people, but from what Law can tell and from her tone, it sounds like you have done a lot for the community. So for me as well, personally, thank you, dude. Dude, Sea of Thieves is a big game, game aim, and I really do appreciate you being one of the major leaders of the crew. crew. Like Law said, uh, doing the whole pilot legend, leading up to the whole pilot legend thing back in March, and just being a force to be back in West in general, so from all of us, once again, in the community of Sea Thieves, and from us, the Go Gamers, 
thank you. You you are good, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to tune it. Hopefully we'll be able to do it tomorrow. I have to double check my schedule because it is a Friday. Uh, but if so, then yeah, I'll definitely be. I'll definitely help out. Uh, give out chests or help people get the chest turned in. Then that would definitely be something I can do. But um, we'll see. Uh, anyways, right. So anyway, I was, I was saying, um, he used to belong. And I don't know if he still uh, associates himself with them, but uh, I think their crew is called the crew of the Red Dog or whatever that he associates with. Uh, I know they have their own web show too, but it's only done every once in a while. It's not as frequent as us or Falcor does his or we do ours here. But uh, they used to be in Race of Legends together, so... Um, and now he claims that he's looking for another crew to join up with. Uh, I don't know if he's still thinking about that. Uh, if he wants to, like, dude, if you're watching right now and you want to join us, great. We need one more, one or two more people and you could be one of them. Totally, <coughs> totally, totally, totally. Yeah, and then, uh, let me see what else, what else. Oh, yeah, you, uh. Discovered all the faces of the moon in the game too, so, so that's cool. Yeah. Uh, that eclipses actually exist. Like, who never knew that? I Me, mean, it's close that um, eclipses do exist in the game. Huh. Yeah, must be once in a while occurrence, just like in real life. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yes. Yeah, so again, uh, Miss Spacefell, much. Much, uh, much, much, much appreciated. Thank you from you and the community, and of course to uh, my fellow true legends in the Discord uh, with him. You know, and I should say our Discord. Uh, Nate, excuse me, but you get the picture. Uh, just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> As <coughs> A fellow player, we all appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing in the stream, uh, this video, guys. Laura's just getting over a cold. Cold. She was sick earlier this week, week, so she's doing fine now, but yeah, she's not completely over it yet. <laughs> just a hint. Uh, anyways, any other community news? Um... Yes, uh, for those of you that are interested in Race of Legends, um, I have to look up the date again, but Season 3 um, of Race of Legends starts soon, and already a brand new course has been made up, and I can't even say it aloud, because I looked at it, and it is complicated. Really, really, really complicated. If you lost, if you thought last season was complicated, Oh my god, this season, oh my god, it is made for vets, it's a damn thing. Uh, yikes, okay then. Uh, uh, but um, yeah, if you're into Race of Leg Legends, get out, uh, get out of it guys, guys, because those spots are going to close, gl close, close. Uh, again, um, I will actually leave a link to Race of Legends in the description for both the Discord and, uh, the, uh, website, so you guys can check it out as well. I think, think it's well worth your time, and definitely well worth your, uh, well worth your, well, those. <laughs> right, so, for those of you who don't know what that is, uh, basically what, what they do, uh, you know, Dread Power Duck and his legendary first mates. What they do, uh, they use it as a purpose for the whole community to basically come together and give each other hugs and kisses, pretty much. Kind of like what we do with Saturn's Call. So, only in this case, uh, whoever participates get to actually win prizes and such. Uh, as for everyone that's watching, same thing. Uh, except, no prizes, but you still get that gratitude of Everyone coming together and having a grand old time. We highly recommend it. Oh, yes. What do you want to actually raise 
or just want to watch, it's a grand old time. I haven't been able to actually tune into one of those. Maybe I'll have to change that. <laughs> uh, but it, it uh, but trust me, uh, Laura's been in it. It's a grand old time. I've even helped out with one one previously, so it's also a very, very great help if you want to help out. But yeah, honestly, if you want to do base Legends, again, I will leave the link to both the Discord and down below in the description description to the website so you guys can check out more information about this. But um, uh, it is definitely a grand old time. So yeah, if you're looking for a good old time just to hang out with other pirates or meet new friends, here's your chance. <laughs> well, sign us. Yes. And uh, moving on to us now. Um, apparently there is a new deal now with... Uh, one of our old partners, we're not going to say his name, because, um, you know, um, transparency rule for us, but um, we're making a new committee, however, it's not for piracy. If, uh, it's only for people that are against piracy. Get it? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, good one. Uh, uh, anyways, you continue. Yeah, so... Um, say you're like, okay, I want to beat up pirates, I want to do PvP and all that. Um, it's not like the other Royal Navy servers in the committee, but this one is similar, but, uh, it's kind of toned down a little. So, say you're like me, where you're kind of like moderate, uh, like, you won't get to do much, uh, PvP and and Skull Forts and all that, but uh, we do that in the unofficial voyages. But the official voyages, it's stripped down to Mercy and stuff. But oddly, uh, MC, remember when I said earlier about uh, the Grand Maritime Union becoming a thing in the game? Yes. That's the name of our new committee, the Grand Maritime Union. I see. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And apologies, guys. MC uh, is kind of getting into this game. I'm the one that's always wants to bend him on things, so excuse him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, oh, one more thing. Um, me and Lola are going to get to possibly later today or hopefully this weekend uh, get to record some Black Powder sessions. We re I realize that we owe you guys a little bit of Sea of Thieves. So I think our video is over a bit overdue for us anyway. So yeah, uh, uh, me and Lola are going to do some Black Powder slashes. Uh, together, together, we're going to show off a quest. Quest, um, uh, well, one of the voyages. And uh, do it from start to finish. Uh, so hopefully, start to finish. Remember last last night we had trouble like crazy on the one map. Oh, uh, yeah, guys. Yeah. I think it was due to you being on your messin'. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, apologies, guys. Guys, in case you don't know, I have to take bedtime medicine sometimes. But yeah, uh, beside the point. <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, hopefully, we get a better map this time. But yeah. Uh, that is our point. Well, here's the thing. It's all the same every single time. Ooh. No matter who picks it up. Um, the quest is always going to stay the same. So, oh, at least we learned, learned it a little bit. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, all right. Right, well, hey. Hey, I can take it. Take it. No big deal. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, speedrun tip for you guys. Uh... You can do it in 20 or 30 minutes, depending on where you spawn. So you got to strategically plot out according to your spawn ratio on where you want to go. Exactly. For, for example. And again, uh, when we do our talk over for, um, for our recording, um, and yes, we do mean it when we're going to talk over it because... Like, I'm not going to talk over it, but um, MC here will. So that way you guys can uh, kind of clearly understand it better. Because obviously, as you can tell right now, you can barely understand me, right? So, yeah, MC's going to do the 
talk overs for that, but basically, um, I'm going to tell him to tell you how this spawn ratio thing that we're going to talk about later works. Okay? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and like because, I said, because you don't know every single thing in the game's background case and how it works with the matchmaking. If you think it's just you getting matched to the server and hopping on a boat, there's way more to that hopping on a, hopping on a boat section of it. <coughs> yeah, there's a lot more. more. It took us a while to figure it out, of course, like any game, but we got it down to the science now, and I will explain that come that video, video about that ratio. Uh, but yeah, it's a very important you plot out where you go because it could end up taking a lot of time if you're at one island for per se 20 minutes <laughs> just trying to find it uh so yeah uh but oh and wise wor words do it while you're awake don't do it while you're sleepy you'll need your whole brain yeah <laughs> kind of like last night yeah <laughs> tried to do it last night guys didn't end well uh, <clears throat> uh uh oh and be ready ready for anything always make sure you have food with you because skulls uh, uh, that's obvious enough, but it doesn't go without saying at this point. You're going to need to make sure you have, uh, have food ready. At least one or two bananas with you before you leave. leave yeah, it. and let me just say right now, as everyone everyone else is probably trying to point out, make sure you have a lot of wood for your ship in case someone sneaks up on you. Oh, that too. Too. Or if you spawn a silver, check all barrels for wood because you're definitely going to need it. I mean, you've got more wood now, but it's always best to be prepared because, believe it or not, that wood can run out very quickly now. Especially with the Megalodons being different types and the ghost ships. <laughs> they mm -hmm. they Which, by the way, the shark ghost has been popping up a lot more recently for people. I don't know if that's a trend, but hey, we'll hop on it. Ugh. Uh, definitely sound, sound interesting. But, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, that, that's uh, another thing we're going to be doing. But, uh, yeah. And, again, really apologize for the silence call. Wait. Things have happened behind the scenes, scenes, guys. I promise you when we get a chance, we will sit down and talk about everything related to silence call and how we could use your guys' help. To make Simon's call the uh, better, better right. for us. Also, uh, we've been trying to make a guide for Tall Tales, but uh, Tall Tales, that guide was done. Uh, but stuff happened in the background, and the files got mixed up, and let's just say the whole project for that pretty much uh, crashed. Yeah. So. Yeah, so. I know our guys are going to be a little out of order, but trust me, guys, we're going to get there. Yeah. You're going to have all your guides. Yep. Trust me. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I said, we will be uh, uh, we will be doing uh, trying to get Silence Call ASAP. I promise you we are working on it. It just takes a while because Laura is more of a family woman now, and, well, you know I am. Uh, but, yeah. So, anyways, that's all for this, uh, Phoebus Tavern. Lengthy one, isn't it? Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Um, because, um, like I said earlier, with the Navy Paceful Day tomorrow, um, I'm sure that's the one high topic that people will point out in its whole, ta whole entire issue of our podcast here. Um, that, yes, it the next baseball day is tomorrow, so of course we will, are going to want to get on that. And, um, of course, another saving me thing, bull point, um, season three of Race of Legends is, uh, right now for, uh, sign-ups. Yeah, so I would get on those again. I will leave all information for that in the description, and I will leave information for, uh, that person will mention as well in the description so you guys can, if you're watching this tomorrow, you guys can come in. in. Obviously, it's going to be posted today, but... Right. Now, as far as I know, in the Discord, 
Um, <coughs> I forgot to mention this. Uh, if you're watching this, uh, let's say tomorrow, the day after we record this, then this is all new, so you missed. Yes, yeah, so if you're watching this tomorrow or the day afterwards, words like on August 3rd, then yeah, you missed it. Missed it, you're too late. But hey, uh, why not give them a follow, follow, follow and join anyways? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, but if you want to sign up for, for that, uh, he made it, like, I'll admit it's a little bit tornuous on how he did it, but, uh, unreasonably, he made sign-ups only, and I say only today. He didn't start last night or anything. Today, he started sign-ups. If someone wants to jump in there. It's 20 hours long for his official loot sack, but, um, for ours, uh, we're just gonna go as long as we can, because, obviously, we're not a pro at loot sacking like he is. Not even close. <laughs> I wish. Uh, uh, but yeah. Uh, anyways, so, uh, yeah, I think that's it, really. Really, if we make it any longer, then the video's going to take long to upload. Load, and I don't want to keep my laptop frozen for that long. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, we will be back, of course, next week with the next uh, Fe Fever's Tavern, which we'll talk about Black Well, we'll, we'll be there for the developer update for Black Lelix. Uh, it will be interesting to see what that one is. I assume it has something to do with the Lelix of CFEs. There are a couple in there, so I'm not sure, sure exactly what it is, but something tells me, tells me it has something to do with Duke, because he has some pretty old Lelix, <laughs> if you get the picture. Right. So, and of course, of course, um, like, we can meet our crewmates, so, again, uh, subscribe to the channel, join our Discord, look at all the info in the description as well, every single piece, pure gold, guys, okay? Trust me, you're gonna think I Slayer, Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Okay, so thank you guys. Uh, this is Lula. And yours truly, Music Clues, uh, signing out for now. And, uh, well, instead of saying have a nice gaming day, I guess we should say we'll see you. Have ya. a nice sailing day. Yep. Yep, and I'll see, and we'll see you on the seas later. Mm-hmm.